Hey everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Um, before I get started, I have to remind you that we are in the middle of a fundraiser. Uh, so the links to uh, help with that fundraiser and support the work we do in the community is going to be at the top of the description box. Go ahead and get that out of the way. All right. I mean, I've sit around and I sort of waited to see. Uh, that's why I'm so late. Um, bringing this and talking about it because I want to kind of see how much exposure it was going to get, how much attention it was going to get, how much people were going to talk about it, how much there would be a sort of rallying around it and, you know, maybe uh, revisiting but today is May 31st, so it is the 101st Memorial of the Tulsa Mace Race uh, Massacre, uh, in which the black town we refer to as Black Wall Street was burned, bombed, and for the most part uh, destroyed an entire ecosystem and economy. Uh, racially motivated, looking for a reason to do it, just like Rosewood, just like Wilmington, North Carolina, just like Slocum, Texas, and, and East St. Louis, and many of, of the other places where blacks were developing their own autonomous ecosystem and economy. Um, and I'm just looking at the power of the media to control the narrative. I've talked to you about that on many occasions. I've, uh, talk to you about why it's important. I've talked to you about what needs to be done. Uh, this isn't simply, you know, a low key overlooking of a major event in history that has really shaped the landscape of how blacks handle uh, finances and view the system and how the system responds to the needs of blacks and so much more. This is historical uh, in so many different ways. We are a hundred plus years removed from it and we have yet to achieve collective wealth uh, even in times like that where we had entire towns where we uh, had a sufficient economic ecosystem where everybody's knowing where to go to spend their money to get what they need and it all took place within the collective and it was powerful and it was it was destroyed and we talk about uh the lack of the ability for us to maintain and do anything economically now but that was a time when we were doing it and it wasn't allowed there was always some reason to come burn it down and to kill large numbers of blacks under some wrong deed done that was never done uh, and we end up with ruin and everybody keeps talking about slavery ended 150 years ago well this was just 100 years ago and we can go and say we can find places where it happened 60 years ago we can say we can go now and say they're gentrifying and forcibly removing us from places that we've invested in now. We can go out and say that redlining is being practiced even now today. We can go out and say that there's a discriminatory practice of undervaluing homes for resale when they're owned by blacks. Again, shifting the, the, the balance of using home ownership as a mechanism of wealth building. So all of these different things are happening and in this memorial where we should be talking about it uh, because it's significant. Also talking about it because there were a lot of lessons to learn from that. You talk about a an entire town that definitely understood the power of economic science and understanding the importance of bouncing the dollar, understanding the importance of a vertical economy. All of the, They understood all of that. What they did not understand was the important need of military science and understanding of military science. How do you protect your economy? How do you defend your economy against a force that may be larger than yours, against a force that may uh, be 
have more firepower. Uh, you know, you're talking about they took the airplanes and, and began to bomb homes uh, during this massacre. Uh, it's estimated that over 300 blacks lost their lives today, and some people believe it was a lot more than that. Okay, so, and so what we learn is from that is that it can be done. If it could have been done, then it can be done. Now, the problem is, as with uh, Marcus Garvin, what he was able to accomplish, no social media, uh, none of the technical event, technological advances that we see today, and yet he was able to create this unbelievably mass massive uh, enterprise uh, that was doing so much. Um, and he did it at a time when the ability to communicate around the world was a lot more limited than it is now. But the difference was there was a lot more unity. There was a lot more collectivity. There was a lot more bonding. There was a lot more belief in one another. There was a lot more black love. Uh, that has been systematically destroyed by media and so much more. I'm going to complete this a little bit later.